Okay, so the next thing that you want to be that you want to know how to do in Revit is how to make your own uh, how to make your own working views. So we'll go on a quick little tour of the project browser over here. Uh, and if you uh, oftentimes when you f first pop into Revit, it'll have your project browser and your properties kind of like stacked on top of each other or something like this. Uh, don't do that. It sucks. Uh, Put them like this, or maybe put them on another screen or something like that. Uh, I like to have my properties on the right side. You can kind of get them docked. It's a little finicky about it sometimes. There we go. And there we go. That's how I like to have mine. Uh, so there are over in the project browser views, uh, legends and schedules, sheets, and families, groups, and Revit links. What we're going to be looking at mostly today is views and sheets. So uh, we talk about this as a model. There's a big 3D, there's a bunch of stuff in 3D land. You can kind of think of it like AutoCAD's model space. And what a view is, is just a essentially a camera, a separate camera looking at some different aspect of the model, whether that's a plan view, a ceiling plan, a section, an actual 3D view. Views are just essentially cameras looking at the stuff that is actually floating in this 3D space, the model. And then sheets uh, are simply uh, sheets, title blocks, and you put views onto sheets. So this right here is a view. It lives up here somewhere and it is put on this sheet. So sheet view, sheet. Um, and then up here in the, uh, in the views area, we have, we, we basically have our views segregated by if they're on a sheet or if they're uh, a working view or a user uh, view. So what we'd like to do is if you're gonna come into a model and work on it, we want you to create your own working views so that you can work in the model, do whatever you need to do, make changes to the visibility settings that are only going to affect views that you're looking at and not someone else, someone else's. Because maybe, you know, I'm working in it and I like having all of my ducks pink and all of my pipes blue and you like it vice versa, or I'm trying to look at the structural model and you're not, whatever. As long as I'm making those changes to the visibility settings in my user views, it's not going to mess with what you see. So you can have a consistent experience. So you can see there's a couple of uh, user uh, subdisciplines already. That's good. Um, and so let's say you're hopping in here and you want to create your own. So what I recommend doing is duplicating existing views um, from the mechanical working subdiscipline or uh, you could even steal someone else's if you wanted to, but we'll just take them from mech working. So right click this guy, say duplicate, uh, just duplicate. So here it is. Uh, this is the new view and this is uh, where it puts. So I'm going to rename the view so that I know it's mine. I'm going to say Disney of that and then so it's still under mech working, but I want to put it under, uh, you know, my own my own user subdiscipline. Uh, and to do that, I go over here into the properties window, where it says subdiscipline, and you can choose from an existing one uh, in the model that's already been created. But I don't have there there isn't a subdiscipline already set up for me, so I'm just going to type in here underscore user Disney, and it's going to put this view. In underscore Disney. There it is. Great, so now I can do whatever I want and it's not going to bother anyone else. I also want a section. I actually want both these sections. And you can apply properties to multiple views at a time by uh, shift selecting. So I've got both of these guys selected. Go over here to subdiscipline and I change this to user Disney. And they should both go. There we go. And I can quickly rename them. Disney. It doesn't really matter what you name your stuff. 
uh, because it's nicely locked away in your subdiscipline, but it does help to name it so you know uh, that it's yours, where it is, that sort of thing. Um, okay, so that is how to uh, create your own working views.